Hey there, and welcome back. My name is Shallon, and I am from P2 Studios. And today we're going to be learning how to animate in TV paint animation. Today's topic was um, a little expansion on my last week topic video. Uh, I told you guys that I would be taking and showing you how to use the project tab and how to organize your scenes or your clips within a project. So this week I'm going to show you um, a little bit of that and to demonstrate that I have come up with a simple animation project I'm working on. It is called the Power of Muck Muck and the Power of Muck Muck is an animation TV series that's, that I'm developing um, which has a lot of uh, really cool sci-fi fantasy elements in it. So the first scene is where um, the butterfly, as you can see on the right hand side of the stage, it's flying in and it will land on this flower. And then that's, we're gonna take and do two different sh um, angle shots or camera shots of the, fly, of the butterfly um, expanding its wings on the flower and then I'm going to explain to you um, the last scene which is where the main character Muck Muck um, he is a woodland creature um, with great powers um, enters the scene so I'm going to go ahead and show you this this is the first clip or scene that we um, that I set up As you can see, the butterfly comes in from the right hand side of the screen and it flies in and settles on the flower here. So once it settles on the flower, I wanted to show a different camera angle of him um, from the front and him expanding and contracting his wings as he is resting or coming to rest on the flower. So what I did is I went down here into my timeline. There's three tabs. One is the project tab. The other is the clip timeline tab. And the other one is a clip X sheet tab. Now to organize your scenes or your clips and um, you can also multiply scenes or um, copy or clone them or even delete them. Um, we go to our project tab here and under my project tab as you can see I have four different scenes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this a little bit so you guys can see this and I'll shrink down my stage so we can see what it looks like. So again in the project when you have the project open you can go back to the clip timeline you can play your clip and you can see what's happening in the scene. And then you can go over to your project tab and you can choose which scene um, you're wanting to work on. For instance, this one you'll see in the thumbnail that it will play back when you hover over it with your mouse the scene, the animation in the scene. So this is the second scene that I created. And again, I sh as I said, is a front view. Um, it's kind of hard to notice that because um, the elements in the picture are not colored so you can see right here there's the top of the flower and he's resting on the flower here but in the real animation when it's done in color you won't be able to see the back of his wings right here so I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip for you as you can see he's stretching and flexing his wings and then I wanted a different angle just to kind of like you want to show the whole object. This is this is the um, one of the also the main characters of the first um, scene of the um, shot is where he takes the butterfly comes in. The butterfly is the main focus of the shot and you want to kind of make it from this different angles so you can kind of put emphasis on the butterfly and what it's doing its position in space and also its position in the scene because it's important so the third shot here is um, another angle view of him doing the same thing flexing those wings and at this point though um, the main character Muck Muck who's the woodland creature 
is coming up behind the, the butterfly. And you, it will be evident once I take and create the rest of the scene where there's gonna be a shadow that is gonna be cast upon this butterfly and the part of the flower from um, Muck Muck standing behind it. Um, so we go back to the project tab right here and the third the fourth final scene is where muck muck appears and what happens is muck muck is standing behind the butterfly and again what i did is i took um as one of the options that are really great for this program is i took this front shot and i duplicated it and to do that all you do is you select the shot and you could take and you could duplicate the shot or the scene over here. You can add here or you can subtract the current scene or the shot or current clip. Or you can even merge them. You can select two of these or more. And you can merge them together into one clip. And you can also delete them. So, and these two buttons, um, this will allow you to add a scene um, before the current scene and add a scene after the current scene. And there's the same thing with the clips. So that way if you have a scene here and you're like, well, I want to take and add a scene after this clip. So what I do is I click this and I'll add another scene. And it's that simple. And then if you don't want that, you can just delete the clip and you're back to here. So again, what I did is I took and I duplicated this. I just took and duplicated the scene. And I, I also show you see and I duplicate it so now I have another one and I brought that scene because I wanted it after this angle and shot of the butterfly so I took and dragged all you have to do is click on it and drag it to reorganize your clips and what I did is I placed it after this butterfly and then in this scene I added muck muck to it so that way he appears when um, when the butterfly, whoops, I duplicated too many times here. Delete, okay. So um, again, like I said, Muck Muck appears behind the butterfly when its wings, um, when they flex back, his eyes will be revealed because he's in a silhouette behind the, behind the, um, the butterfly. And then he's gonna be reaching into the scene and trying to pet the butterfly but something tragic is going to happen and very shocking, which um, causes Muck Muck to um, go into a rage, which is kind of contrary to his personality because him as a woodling creature, he's really in tune with nature. And when something threatens or destroys his environment, um, he reacts very aggressively to whatever it is that is impending upon his his domain. So um, that will be animated in the next shot. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you how that is done through the um, both the clip and the timeline. Um, it's a really cool feature because um, you get to see uh, through the thumbnails the animation and see how well the scenes work together so that way when you're working on the, the flow of your project, it's very easy to see how it all comes together. So I'm gonna keep working on this and um, I'll keep uh, giving you guys updates as I go. Um, it's a really exciting project and um, keep on practicing.